This whole story when it comes to Wonka, it was, it was just very interesting. When we, we were talking to Charlene Chu from Atomist Research about this, this developer, right? Is this the bellwether of what's to come in the property segment? We have Moody's coming through with that downgrade, so it's now to junk. Well, whether we see the other agencies actually follow through is one thing. This is the statement that came through from Moody's, citing contraction in sales and uncertainties over access to funding amid a prolonged downturn. So if S&P and Fitch follow, certainly there is maybe a potential contagion risks here that we have to really contend with, Steve. Yeah, absolutely. And it's even going to go further than that because they could not rule out further potential ratings action because of the funding uncertainty, the liquidity issues, and continuing depression in home sales. So uh, this is, a, I think, the number two developer by sales right now. Uh, we've had some other fallen companies. Obviously, Evergrande was sort of the poster child. Then we had Country Garden, which seemed to be the bellwether. Van Kuh, state yeah. back, number two by... Uh, unit sales, but state back. That's why Charlene, Charlene Chu yesterday said if this one goes down as it obviously has some liquidity issues and debt burdens as well. It has $236 billion in assets, 1.3 trillion yuan of liabilities as of the mid-2023. If this one goes down, that shakes confidence much further in the government's ability as well to put a floor on this falling property market. And it all goes back. All these stories about China today, Yvonne, is tied to the lack of policy action from the recently concluded NPC, iron ore. Yes. No, there, was no, there was no sentiment boosting comments, policy that would help boost demand. They want demand, but they don't have any policies to boost demand. And same thing with uh, the property sector.